Welcome! Today we are looking at another Euphorbia from my collection. I showed you some of my Euphorbias already and today I would like to talk a little bit more about the genus Euphorbia and about how Euphorbia's evolution took place. Euphorbias are very diverse. It's a very diverse genus. Uh, there are about 2,000 species of Euphorbias and not all of them are succulent species. This is a Euphorbia too. I showed it to you before. This is a Euphorbia. This is Poinsettia. It's not a succulent species and there are plenty of Euphorbias in temperate zones wherever you live. Probably in the natural environment around your house there are some Euphorbias. Some of them are growing as weeds, some of them are growing as ornamental plants. So this Euphorbia is only one of many many species from this genus. I also showed you this Euphorbia. Euphorbia cereiformis. I also showed you this Euphorbia. This is Euphorbia flanagani. I showed you Euphorbia obesa, a very interesting species that has flowers male and female male and female flowers on separate plants the big one is a male and the small one is a female and they are in bloom right now so this diversity the fact that plants from the same genus, plants that are very closely related, can look very different, is called parallel evolution. Plants that are separated geographically, plants that grow in different climates, in, that occupy different ecological niches, are adapting to their uh, environment the best they can and because the environments are different the adaptations are different and in case of euphorbias sometimes the evolutionary outcome even if the conditions are similar because of the um, geographical separation evolution takes a different path and the plants look very different the fact that all these plants, all Euphorbias, are classified, uh, um, belong to the same genus, the classification of the plants is based on the flower on, or how closely related they are. And the flower being the most conservative part of the, of the plant allows botanists to classify uh, all Euphorbias together in the same genus. However, very often plants that are not related occupy, uh, are occupying similar niches, grow in similar conditions. And this is the case of all succulents. Succulents are plants that are adapted to dry conditions and they are not necessarily related. In Americas, all dry environment were uh, monopolized by cacti. There is some uh, variation within uh, cacti. However, when you look at the cactus, there is no uh, doubt that this is a cactus. With, uh, with, with euphorbias, it's a different story. However, the niches that cacti and euphorbias occupy, even though geographically very, very distant, uh, because succulent euphorbias are mainly in Africa and cacti are exclusively in Americas. They occupy similar niches, so the same adaptations evolved many times in different 
groups of plants. So if we look at this particular euphorbia, we might, one might think, one might think that it looks like a cactus, and yes, it does. It does look a cactus. Look at this cactus. This is Escobaria, Escobaria hendricksoni. The way these two plants grow is very similar. By the way, I made a video about this Escobaria. It has beautiful pur purple flowers. So if you look, uh, if you search in my channel in the videos that I made within the videos that I made um, in the summertime, you will find a video about about this plant, and you will see how beautiful the flowers are. And this one is also a cactus. This one is um, a Mammillaria, Mammillaria gracilis, and. It's, it's a little bit smaller, but the way it grows is very similar. So this phenomenon, the fact that evolution can reach the same outcome in different parts of the world, many times in different groups of plants or organisms for that matter, this phenomenon is called a convergent evolution. So this is everything I wanted to share with you today. I hope I was able to show you the beauty of this particular aspect of nature and the many reasons why collecting plants is a fascinating uh, hobby, is a fascinating way of spending free time. Thank you very much for watching my video. Have an amazing afternoon.